He'll never forget where I came from, says William, as the 29-year-old tells 442 about starting on the streets of Brazil, using flip-flops for goalposts, to playing professionally in the Ukrainian league. From there, William moved to Angi Makart Kala, the only club willing to pay his buyout clause, then came his much-discussed move to the Premier League. The situation was, complicated. Well, not complicated actually. It was more, unusual, William tells 442 as he reflects on the 2013 transfer window, when he was strongly linked with Tottenham before eventually signing for their crosstown rivals. When I came to London, there were other clubs interested in my football Liverpool, Tottenham as well as Chelsea. I was just waiting for the negotiations to be completed. My agent was talking to the clubs. I was just waiting for the decision. In the end, I ended up going to Chelsea. When I understood they were really keen to sign me, I said my decision was made. I wanted to go to Chelsea. Embedded video for William signing for Chelsea was complicated. Liverpool and Tottenham were interested. It might have taken a while for William to adjust and find his best form in England, but HES now a firm fan favourite at Stamford Bridge. The attacking midfielder has won two Premier League titles with Chelsea, but particularly notable is that he was one of the few players whose form DIDNT dropped during the club's struggles through 201,516. I've won titles and made history at Chelsea, he tells FFD. I've experienced incredible moments at one of the biggest clubs in the world. I think I managed to keep improving my football even during difficult periods for the team. I've managed to maintain a high level of performance. I'm very happy at Chelsea. I just try to improve year on year. And it's been happening. Watch the full William My Story video on 442's YouTube channel now as he discusses coping with criticism after his move to Angie, and when he first got the call up for the Brazilian national team. New features you'd love on 442.com. More interviews.